Hey again guys, and welcome back. My regular viewers will remember that I've been talking about using PCBWay to make some new circuit boards. And if you're not a regular viewer and simply watch another maker's channel, you may have had the surprise spoiled. I've never sent off a uh, um, circuit board to somebody like PCBWay who sponsors uh, like Simple Electronics or... But yeah, PCBWay reached out and wanted to give me some free boards for me to check out their services. And so I decided, instead of just making regular boards, or even simple boards, I would make something a lot more complex and cool. So here's the KiCad project, and I didn't record myself making this thing because it was a pain in the butt. I ran into a lot of KiCad's limitations, as you can see with the copper pour here. But that's not the main feature. If I erase the front copper, you can see even better that the silk screen on the back is actually my logo with uh, some lettering I added in. And this logo was vectorized by Verowak, my wife, and I did the finishing touches and put the text in and went through the arduous process of importing it into KiCad. It wasn't very fun. So this will basically be either like a coaster or just a fun circuit board that um, will actually have red, green, and blue 5mm LEDs on it. So you can either use it as a coaster or light it up with 5 volts and ground and have a supersized RGB LED logo. So since this is already done, exported, and zipped, let's head over to PCBWay's website. And by the way, I'm on your side, so I'll show you everything that goes down behind the scenes. So here we are at the main screen. What's really cool is that you can actually order your first circuit boards for free because they cost $5, but they give you a $5 coupon when you sign up, which is pretty awesome. So our circuit board here, if I go and measure it, it's roughly, ah, let's say, yeah, 67 and a half millimeters across. So we'll go, uh, we'll go 68 by 68. And let's get 10 pieces. Um, we're going to leave this the same. The material, the FR4, the thickness, track spacing is fine, hole size is fine. Now a solder mask, like it blue, with a white silk screen. So it'll most closely approximate the 5050 LED my logo is based upon. Don't need any gold fingers. Do like that lead. Um, Vias doesn't matter, don't have any and the thin copper is fine. Again, I don't have any any uh, high current traces. And I'll just add the no extra product number on it. So here we go, we can hit uh, calculate. And here, so it's $8, so I would just be paying $3 basically. And the DHL shipping is $21 to Canada. So if you live in a country where shipping is not so expensive, it's going to be pretty good for you. But even so, it is now the 15th and it's estimated to be here, you know, before, yeah, 5, 519, they're going to be delivering it and 524, it's going to be arriving at my door. So it's a long weekend here in Canada. So we'll see actually how DHL um, works. I'm going to save that to cart. And I'm going to add some Gerber files. I've got the Gerber, Gerber files already done. So that's one here. And I'll submit the order. Now I'll just wait for them to approve this. Um, I did a test and it took them, I think it was 15 minutes to uh, confirm. And then I have to contact my contact at PCBWay and they'll send me the boards and I'll let you know how long it actually takes to get here. And the boards are in. I am so excited to get these opened. But first a little bit of stats for you. So I submitted the design uh, Friday evening and uh, they were approved for manufacture uh, like 15-ish, 20 minutes later. Uh, so I contacted my uh, contact at PCBWay and um, she was on her weekend. So uh, if I were a normal customer, I could have just paid for my thing right there and it would have got manufactured over the weekend. But my contact had a weekend, which she assured me if, uh, if it wasn't for her, 
it would have been done throughout the weekend. So they, um, they started manufacture on the Monday and this here arrived at my PO box on a Friday. Five days from payment received on their end to boards received on my end in Canada. This is insane and I'm really excited to see what they look like. Look at that. PCB way. This is incredible that you can get them manufactured so quickly. I can't even get um, anything from Amazon that quick in uh, this Corona world. Okay, what do we have? Oh, oh, hello. PCB prototype the easy way. Yeah, it's true. You know what? It was fairly effortless. I do like swag. Celebrating. 55 years PCB way 55 five years that would make more sense and Here they are anything else. Nope. Oh Man, oh look at that Sweetness Let me in I have to say um I'm actually proud of my design on these. Let's see how the execution went. So the fact that I couldn't do a circular fill with um, KiCad means that you have these jagged edges, but I don't really care about that. And there are our, wow, these look freaking sweet. That's crazy. I don't think the silk screen was really intended to be flood filled like this, but Man, let's get a closer look at these because I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Let's let's take a look. I set out to make this PCB difficult to manufacture, but it doesn't seem like they had any trouble at all. The routing on the outside, it is crisp. It's incredible. It's perfectly circular. I've got my pads for lighting it up here. They've got my uh, silk screen on both sides, which is great. These things look incredible. Let's see if there's any defects in the batch. Wow. I definitely can't cut them uh, in a circle like this this well at all. Not even, not even close. I don't even know how to do such a thing. And um, I don't think they would work for um, Gadget Reboot's circle cutting rig either. That looks absolutely amazing. We got to build one of these. Let's build it. I can barely even contain my excitement. Um, although I did mess up the pads. The uh, uh, square pad is not the positive. Um, so for this, I've decided to go with um, five millimeter LEDs. That's what the pad is designed for. Whoops, I almost put them backwards. And I set them so that your components solder from the back like this and I just I'm just setting them down in order red green and blue and I'll let you know my resistor values in a second is that correct yeah that looks correct two and three positive on not the square Okay, in my resistor values, I went for uh, 4.7K for the red. And I just did this visually. I didn't use a calculator or anything. It was just a trial and error. I really wanted a very dim light. I don't want this to, to be super bright, but I think it's going to look super cool with the resistors like this. Um, 560 ohms for the green. Because the green LED I'm using is more of a like a indicator LED. It's really not a bright type. The blue happens to be really ferocious though, so I had to tame it down. So I have a 10K for the blue. So these two here. And uh, they're not perfect as far as light balance, but they're really not bad. They work out pretty well. 
Oops, my resistor's standing up. Up at attention. There we go. Should just about do it. And solder these up. Hopefully I don't mess it up on my first try here because um, I only got 10 boards because I wasn't sure if they're going to be proper. I'm actually uh, pleasantly impressed by PCBWay and uh, I did tell them that if they wanted to supply boards I would still tell you if they were crap. Thankfully they're not, because that would have been a little embarrassing. Gotta just solder one lead per LED. I'm soldering a bit far from my eyes here, so it's a little hard to see. Might tweak this a little bit in future future iterations. But for now, I'm really stoked on how it looks. I don't have any stickers or anything with my logo on them. Ouch. So I'm really happy to actually have something like this. There we go. Okay, just got to make sure the LEDs are straight, and they are, which is good. And I can go and solder the other side. So this is going to be like a little, um, I don't know, like a little sign I'm going to hang up on the wall. And since most of the time my recording room where I am here, my workshop, is dark aside from my workbench, I want it in a dark area, just lightly shining, like, a, like almost like a night light. The current consumption will be like next to nothing. I'm going to trim these leads a little short, uh, mainly because I want it to sit relatively flat. Could make a version with standoffs. That's for sure. The possibilities are endless. Really, you're only, um, like, like these, these boards are so simple for a place like uh, PCB Way to manufacture. That really, your limitation is your design skills. They, it's not really their limitation, it's, it's mine. That we're, hit, that we're up against, which is a good problem to have. Okay, and I also put the contacts here, so the positive, I maybe should have marked this on the silk screen, that would have been a good idea. But the positive test point over here, it's DP1, and the negative test point, DP2. Hopefully I connected TP2 to ground. That would be embarrassing if I didn't. But again, that would be on my end. Now I have this comically long offcut of a USB cable. I bought, when I had my iPhones, I bought uh, super long cables to charge them. And eventually the cable gave up, but only at the tip. So I kept, kept the rest. It's quite a good length. So we're going to get this soldered up here. And the negatory. Trying to stay in shot here. There we go. So let's plug this in and see what it looks like and you'll see it's gonna light up pretty dull and that's by purpose oh yeah there we go red green and blue simple electronics logo thing that's awesome yeah this is gonna give just a tiny tiny little amount of light and that's exactly what I wanted and now I've got nine of these to send to my friends and maybe some patrons We'll see. So I want to thank uh, PCB Way for uh, sponsoring this video, and I've had a lot of fun. So if they want to work with me in the future, I think I'd be up for it. So check the link in the description. I have an affiliate link for PCB Way, so 
you'd be paying the same like really low prices. I think it's five dollars for ten boards, but your I think if you join your your first five dollars, you get a coupon for five dollars off. So really, your first order you only pay for shipping, and I mean, you really probably should get get on that. And it's a pretty damn good deal uh, considering you get these professional quality boards. Like they look fantastic. So yeah, do that. And if you use my link also, um, it is an affiliate link. So I might get some credits towards some future product projects. But I want to thank you all for watching. And the next project that I have in mind will be quite a bit more complicated. See you in the next one.